Don't ask me why I feel like vlogging today. I have no idea. I... <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Anyway, good morning. It is... I always feel like I need to tell you guys that I don't have a clock in here. I think it's like 9.15 or something. I woke up around like 8.30 and spent time in bed just like watching YouTube and stuff. And then I was like, maybe I should do a little vlog because I haven't done one in a hot minute. And this is like the first like kind of different day that I have. So... I just got out of school on Friday. I finished my last final and I've been just working on moving out and stuff from my apartment because my lease ends and I'm living in a different apartment next semester. Um, but it's strange because I don't really know what I'm doing today. I know that I want to take a shower now and then I'm going to drive my brother to school and then... I think I'm gonna go to my apartment after and pick some stuff up. And I have some outfits and stuff that I left at the apartment that I wanna go grab. Um, I'm trying to think of other things I can potentially bring back. Um, and then I think I'm just gonna like chill. I might grab a coffee, I might do some reading, I might do some like work and like looking for internships again. Cause I know it's like May, but a lot of people are still just looking now cause of the way COVID is. Um, which is interesting. So yeah, I thought I'd just take you along for the day today. I have no idea why. I just found, I felt randomly inspired to do a vlog. So there you go. Okay, so I just dropped my brother off at, oh my God, they're gonna, they're, there's a man looking at me. I'm just gonna look the other way. I dropped my brother off at school and now I'm going to my apartment. I, I don't know why my eye looks really swollen. I think I'm gonna get a coffee on the way back from my favorite coffee shop in Chapel Hill, uh, which I think will be nice. But I'm just gonna pick up a couple of stuff from my apartment, nothing crazy, um, and probably the remaining clothes because I kind of want to wear this one top tomorrow. Um, and yeah, I don't really know what to do. I feel like I should maybe grind on like internship stuff or maybe I'll just read. I also need to edit my end of year video that I was making for, I do that every year, so we're just gonna see. But I forgot to update you guys. I'm probably gonna forget to vlog. <laughs> okay, green light, bye. Okay, we are in the apartment. I am just so, I'm a little tired, man. I don't know what it is. I think I'm also dehydrated. I have not had enough, but look at how sad this is. Are you ready? All the couches are gone. Move them to my friend's house. We just have a little coffee table, a couple tables that would go over there, but I'm not gonna move them back yet. I just took some mail and stuff from here, a frame that we never ended up using, some snacks. I'll take care of the kitchen and stuff later. This is my room, so I'm just currently trying to get everything sorted out. Took the lights down, took my bulletin board, cleaning off my desk now. This me. I'm so tired. I'm just gonna get like a couple of stuff. Should I get the clock? Oh, I might get the clock too. Or the lamp. Do you think I could even get the lamp? I don't know. And then if we come into the closet, we have all of these tops right here. Um, Cause I wasn't sure how, if I was gonna stay here, what the plan was. I think I'm just gonna, I'm actually gonna pack up my closet right now before I forget. Let's do that. extra large at the thrift shop that I was going to um but I was so obsessed with it I think it's supposed to be like a tight fit kind of dress but I actually really like the loose fit kind of vibe to it so then I bought it in the size anyway and it honestly fits like that so I think I'm gonna wear it on my birthday <laughs> so story behind that thank you Those are also, yep, in the dryer. Oh my god, there's so many. Dude. Should I just get that later? I don't have anywhere to fit it right now. I'm just gonna wear it. You, you guys stay nice and warm in there. <laughs> okay, what else should I get? Oh, bathroom stuff. Oh, I should take this off the wall. Do you guys know what this says? Wait. 
If we have any Greek people, I'm very proud of this. I'll give you guys five seconds to guess. Okay, you, you had your five seconds. It says orange juice. I went to the beach with my mom like a few days, a few years ago before I was moving into college. And there was like this place where you could like paint your own like wooden thing or whatever or a canvas. And I painted that. And I couldn't think of an inspirational quote because I'm not an inspirational person. So I decided to just write orange juice on it because it's my favorite Greek word. So I put it there and now it's just like a staple in like every place that I am or every place that I move, you will see that in my room. So fun fact about me. <laughs> I'm so annoying. It's because I'm so tired. Okay, so I think I could just move everything that was in my apartment. Home. So, okay, let's calm the fuck down. I'm just gonna take everything out of the drawers. And we can explore the things that Maria ended up remember using. This stuff I took from home, it's a bunch of just hair serum stuff. And I didn't know if I'd need any of this hair stuff because I want to take better care of my hair. Um, but I ended up using like only like a third of what I brought from home. From like these things, detangling texture and protect spray. I never used that, even though I wanted to use that. The Feather Balm Weightless Styler. I don't even know what that means. I don't know what this is. Hopeless Hair Extreme Repair Mask. Probably should have used this. So now we're just gonna stuff the remaining stuff in here. I actually, I think there was a thunderstorm warning. Might have to head out soon. I, I used a drape ruler and I used the gua sha. Is he even doing anything? Perhaps, oh, wait, actually it could be. Or maybe it's just the angle that I'm looking at it to make myself feel better. Recycling. Works for me. I think it's fine. We just have this random stuff, random stuff. Okay, I'm just gonna do the rest of this by myself. <laughs> I feel like I'm like, it's just the same five things. Okay. I've gotten a lot of stuff in. You can't see it from here at all, but I promise there's stuff in the bag and I brought a couple of other things. I am so thirsty, so dehydrated. So what am I going to do? Of course, I'm going to get a coffee that's going to dehydrate mo me more. Oh my God. My throat is so dry. I think I'm going to get a caramel latte. Read a little bit, drink some water, just rest. Oh my God. I like look at my marks on my face. Like what is this i don't even know what this is from my mask like this isn't even like acne right or is it i don't know what this is <sighs> i'm so dehydrated okay we have gotten the coffee you can see the coffee shop in the back um it is my favorite coffee shop in chapel hill it's called well it was called johnny's i still call it johnny's i'm not gonna lie um but right now it's called present day on maine i got a caramel latte with almond milk, um, and it was iced. It was expensive, but <gasps> I almost dropped it. I literally would have started crying. Oh my God, it's good. I forgot about it. I forgot how good this shit is. It's huge though. Like I'm gonna like shit my pants in it, but that's okay. All right. I am home. Oh. Hello, little baby. Little, little baby. <laughs> um, I've been home for like 10, 15 minutes. Um, I was gonna read and then I realized it was kind of an aesthetic having like the iced coffee with the like book that's like set in Italy, you know, with the water. And then I took out my glasses for aesthetic purposes and then i just spent so long trying to take pictures um we have a severe weather alert that's coming soon so if it gets really loud that's probably what's up i'm gonna go edit the pictures and post something to instagram i don't know why i am the way i am but it was kind of fun it's really hard though you think about all the stuff that you see on pinterest and then try to recreate it you need to realize like how difficult it is to get those like shots like it's not just like a simple like frolicky like oh yeah i'm just gonna take a picture of my iced coffee with my book like the shit that goes into it but let me actually drink some of my water because i am still dehydrated all right i'm gonna go edit i told i look so bad with these on 
I am editing my end of year video right now. I'm shaking, I'm sorry, it's the caffeine, I promise. Let me show you though. So I'm editing my end of year video, I'm almost done. I just have one more like third of it to do. And I am right now, I just bought Lotus in because I'm gonna use it for the last thing. Usually when I do my end of year sections, I have like three sections. So I have the first video section, then we go into pictures, that's not pictures, this is pictures. And then we go into the last section, which is just like a final hurrah. And so I just decided to use Lotus End for the final hurrah, um, which is going to make me um, <laughs> English. It's going to make me emotional. I also read a lot. I read a lot of this book, and I'm probably going to get back to it in a little bit. It is just... There, there's, just read it for yourself if you are over the age of 17. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna get back to this. I forgot again that I'm like vlogging, so I'm gonna try to get better at that. Anyway, literally I'm doing it to someone new and it makes me so emo, like... I, I literally just left school like two days ago. Had its moments, and there were better days and worse days. I know that there will be... Okay, listen, I am not pregnant. I will not be pregnant for a very long time. I'm taking these off again. But as you guys know, I have an insane fear of throwing up. That is definitely like getting better, hopefully. I don't know if my therapist would agree, but we'll see. It's definitely improved since I first realized I had it. But Zoe Sugg just posted a video of her talking about her first trimester and I did not know that she had a metaphobia. I've been watching her forever. She might have mentioned it and it just went over my mind, but apparently she is an extreme fear of getting sick as well. And I keep forgetting how common it is and I can't, oh my god, English. I keep forgetting that it's like such, it's, it affects people's daily lives as much as it will affect my daily life. Like I always feel like I'm alone in the world where I feel like I'm the only one where emetophobia is really just like affecting me 24 7 I literally can't stop thinking about it like whatnot um it's something I kind of like have learned to like tolerate and try to like not think about much but it's always at the back of my mind not a day goes by where I don't think about it and as you guys also know at some point in my life I very 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 much want to be a mother and I would like to get pregnant if I am able um and I, in the back of my mind, I always had that fear where I'm like, oh my god, I might get sick. I don't like the feeling of not feeling good. I always want to be feeling good all the time, which is ironic because I like rarely feel like 100% because of my anxiety and OCD and because of my digestive disorder and things like that. Um, so I just, I just was scrolling through my Instagram and I saw that she had posted this video, so now I'm watching it. Like, what? This is, like, literally the most perfect video I think I've ever seen for me out there. Ever. Like, I will definitely be coming back to this video in, like, 10 years when hopefully I'll be having a child. And, yeah. Anyway, I just thought I should up you, up, <laughs> update you. Yeah. I almost like can you see my eyes slightly watering I almost got emotional for a second because she was talking about like her emetophobia and like how it affects her and she literally like basically just said what I was saying to you before I even reached a part of the video and like how it's just like some people are some like scared of it don't enjoy it obviously um but like for her it was like the main source of everything like if she was anxious that's like what she would be anxious about and it was like something that really just disrupted her every like I didn't realize that there are other people out there that like go with, that have that now I'm like crying why am I getting emotional what the fuck it's just because it's this is, anxiety is so prevalent in my life I didn't realize that like other people go through it wow oh my god okay well Anyway, back to the video. <laughs> okay, wait, I was watching back my video, like the one that I just did. Is my nose crooked? <gasps> Is it? Wait, I gotta go do the deja vu trend, hold up. Oh my god. 
I think it is. I know I'm asymmetrical in general. Like, this is definitely bigger. But, like, my, I never, oh, this is never gonna not bother me. I just need to go like that, right? But no, it sticks out to the side a little bit. <gasps> okay, anyway, sorry. I forgot to vlog the rest of the day. What did I do afterwards? I think I just continued editing. I finished editing and then I hopped on a Zoom with some of my friends. Um, hung out a little bit. Ate some dinner. Watched a movie with my parents. And now I'm on TikTok. I am so bad at uh, vlogging, especially when I do it on random days like this. I'm also in my bed at home, which is, this is not usually like my comforter, but this is what's here now and it's working. So, sorry that this is like five hours later. No, not even. Definitely a lot more. <laughs> I'm so bad at vlogging. Anyway, thanks for hanging out with me for at least the first half of the day. Um, I will talk to you guys later, and yeah, I love you. Stay safe.